order. Well, you'll have to come to the rostrum. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to challenge the chair's ruling that nobody can speak on the floor. I particularly want to speak on this Sorry, mo I'm raid. motion. And can, I, can I just clarify? I actually haven't ruled on that. What I've just said to you is that we're going to take all the movers and then I'm going to see how the time is and then I'm going to see whether we can have any debate from the floor or whether we'll just have to restrict it to people again. So that's what I've said to you. I, I've not made a ruling. I'm just saying that that's what's being guided so far. So I think what you'll need to do is let the movers move and then see what my ruling is then and then you can come and make your challenge. Okay, comrade, thank you. Uh, can I have A2, please? Um, I'm Anna Fisher from Wandsworth and Merton. And this amendment arose out of a discussion about the social security policy at our branch meeting. There was an overwhelming feeling that the draft policy was dense and difficult to read, went into an inappropriate level of detail, and revealed a lack of understanding of the current system on the one hand and of the needs of certain groups on the other. For example, it suggests that those with caring responsibilities should get national insurance credits when this already happens, and it commits to providing free childcare to children under five, as if children of five and over do not need care. Some of us were also uneasy about the whole concept of 24-hour childcare and felt it needs more discussion. The demand for this from the women's liberation movement in the 1970s alienated many ordinary women. We were concerned that the draft policy as it stands would not be accepted and that it would be a disaster to go into a general election year without a social security policy. We felt that what was needed is a clear and accessible summary of principles that we could adopt as a party and a list of immediate campaigning points. Our beloved branch convener, Micheline Mason, showed us a paper that she had prepared for a workshop organised by the People's Assembly in Brixton in October. We were unanimous that this exactly meets the needs that we had identified for a clear summary of principles and a list of immediate campaigning points campaigning points. We therefore undertook to propose this as an amendment to the policy. Originally we asked for it to be a replacement for the proposed policy but we were told by standing orders that this would not be accepted. We're therefore putting it forward as an appendix to be used as a short public facing version of the policy. Thank you. Can I have uh, 